you did a bunch of programming competitions. What was your interest, your love for programming? Uh, what did you learn through that experience? Especially now that uh, much of your work has taken a long journey through mathematics. I think I always was amazed by how computers could do things fast. If I wanted to make a, an abstract analysis of why it is that I saw some power in the computer, because if the computer can do things so many times faster than humans, where the hard part is telling the computer what to do and how to do it, if you can master that asking the computer what to do, then you could conceivably achieve more things. And those contests I was in, those were the opposite in some sense of making a complete product, mm -hmm. like a game is a product. Uh, those contests were effectively write a function to do something extremely efficiently. And if you are able to do that, then you can unlock more of the power of the computer. But also doing it quickly. There's a time element from the human perspective to, to be able to program quickly. There's something nice. So there's an, like almost like an athletics component to where you're almost like uh, an athlete seeking optimal performance as a human being trying to write these programs. And at the same time, it's kind of art because you're the best way to write a program quickly is to write a simple program. You have to have a damn good solution. So it's not necessarily you have to type fast. You have to think through a really clean, beautiful uh, solution. I mean, what do you think is the use of those programming competitions? Do you think they're ultimately something you would recommend for students, for people interested in programming or people interested in building stuff? Yes, I think so because especially with the work that I've been doing nowadays, even trying to control COVID, something that was very helpful from day one was understanding that the kinds of computations we would want to do, we could conceivably do on like a four core cloud machine on Amazon Web Services out to a population which might have hundreds of thousands or millions of people. Mm -hmm. The reason why that was important to have that back of the envelope calculation with efficient algorithms is because if we couldn't do that, then we would bankrupt ourselves before we could get to a big enough scale. If you think about how you grow anything from small to big, if in order to grow it from small to big, you also already need 10,000 cloud servers, you'll never get to big. And also the nice thing about programming competitions is that you actually build a thing that uh, works. So you, uh, you finish it, there's a completion thing and you realize, I think there's a magic to it where you realize that it's not so hard to build something that works, to have a system that uh, successfully takes in inputs and produces outputs and solves a difficult problem. And that directly transfers to building a startup essentially that can help some aspect of this world as long as it's mostly be um, based on software engineering. Things get really tricky when you have to manufacture stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why people like Elon Musk are so impressive that they, it's not just software. Tesla Autopilot is just not just software. It's yes. it's like you have to actually like have factories that build uh, cars and there's like a million components in, involved in, in the machinery required to assemble those cars and so on. But in software, one person can change the world, which is uh, uh, incredible.